Hey everyone, Evan here with Baritone Studios, and welcome to this episode of The Lore of Halo. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ignavis the Devourer, one of the high-value targets that can be found within Halo Infinite. As always, if you're enjoying the content, show your support for Baritone Studios by liking, commenting, and subscribing. It helps support us and lets us know that you want to see more. Within Halo Infinite, Ignavis the Devourer can be found west of Fob Echo, around the large hill. He is one of the heavily armored high value targets, meaning you do not want to face him up close. Either kill him using a vehicle or take out the jackal snipers in the surrounding hills to ensure an easy fight. His weapon, the Volatile Skewer, is a variant of the skewer that adds extra explosive damage to its projectiles, making them extremely effective against heavily armored enemies and vehicles. To those that have heard of him, Ignavis the Devourer is pure nightmare material. His story begins during the Human Covenant War where he fought most notably during the Battle of Jericho 7 between 2532 and 2535. Despite much of the Covenant's ground troops being completely destroyed by green, red, and blue Spartan teams, Marine Divisions, and the 105th Drop Jet Platoon of ODSTs, the Covenant were able to fully destroy several cities before glassing the planet entirely. During this time, Ignavis served under Chieftain Avidus, where Ignavis became infamous for killing his enemies in a violent and sadistic nature. Try saying that five times fast. He even had a habit of consuming the severed limbs of his still living prey, earning him the horrifying title of Ignavis the Devourer. This eventually led to him earning his spot as a chieftain and leader of the World's Wrath Pack. Late in the Covenant Human War, Ignavis and the rest of his pack broke off from the Covenant, but continued targeting human settlements for destruction. This most likely was due to Ignavis not wanting to follow orders and proceeding to carry out his horrendous spouts of terror. In 2550, the World's Wrath Pack joined the Banish where Ignavis began to target any species or group that stood in his way without discrimination. During the battle for Zeta Halo in 2560, Ignavis fought under the leadership of Eshram and served as part of the fourth lance in the first combat element of World's Wrath. Ignavis was finally brought down by the Master Chief following the weapon exposing his location during or after May 28th of 2560. Don't worry everyone. He can't hurt anybody else. You could say he's practically armless. Bruh. So there we have it. Everything we know about Ignavis the Devourer. Thank you all for watching. Let me know who you want to see next in the Halo universe in the comments below and what you thought about the episode. Once again, I'm Evan with Baritone Studios, and I'll see you next time.